Wepa! What's up? What's up? What's up? Hey, hey, welcome to the Wanda Bomb Cooking Channel. I'm Wanda Bomb. Uh, recently, I took a, a trip up to Pennsylvania, got to visit my grandson, uh, Lalito. And while I was up there, I was watching this show on TV. Never underestimate the power of television. You watch TV, you put ideas in your, your head, and you think, oh no, that's not possible. It's possible. I saw this show called Wicked Tuna. It's about these fishermen out there catching these big, giant, uh, uh, beautiful uh, tuna, uh, tuna steaks. And I got this taste for tuna steaks. So, in this episode, boom! Thanks to the program Wicked Tuna, I'm making uh, tuna steak fajitas. So, here's my shopping list. You're gonna need some uh, quinola oil. You're gonna need some paprika, cayenne pepper. I'm using my uh, sazonador uh, toro from Goya. You need uh, a red pepper, orange pepper, yellow pepper, onion, uh, some guacamole, some salsa, sour cream, some chopped cheddar. Of course, you need your tuna steaks and then some um, tortillas. So. I prefer the corn tortillas over the, the flour. It just tastes better and it lasts longer. And um, so I'm gonna do the prep work and I'll see you in two. Okay, I'm back. Um, I put some oil in the pan already. Uh, you determine how much oil you wanna use. I diced up some, I didn't dice up, excuse me. I cut up some onions. I'm gonna put that in the oil and let that saute a little bit. Um, I like, um, a lot of onions, so what I did was I used two onions on this. So we're gonna let this saute some. Then I'm gonna add my peppers. I got my orange peppers, boom. I got my red peppers, boom, boom. And then I got my yellow peppers, boom. Because I love, this is a great dish, a uh, really healthy. I'm gonna lower my heat a little bit. Really healthy. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna let this soften up and then I'll put uh, the, the, uh, the seasoning and the tuna in that. Okay, as you can see, my uh, veggies are now starting to soften. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to add my seasoning, boom, 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 my cayenne pepper and my paprika and get that, get that nice color in there. And what I want to do is I want to make some room in the side. I'm going to add my tuna. And I, I seasoned my tuna. And what I want to do is I want to put it in the center of the pan where all the direct heat is. Boom, boom, boom. Yeah, baby. Then I want to put my veggies and all the seasoning on top. Hey, and if you could see if stuff falls out of the pan, just pick it up, put it back, and then just let that um, cook up. Okay, now I'm getting ready to fit my tuna. Now one of the good things about tuna steaks is like, you, it's easy to tell when it's done. Cause you can just, just looking at the sides, you can see how it's cooked through. And you just flip them over, boom, boom, boom. Yeah, baby. Then what I'll do is, once it's all cooked, I'll break it down and into strips and we'll uh, wrap it up in a nice uh, tortilla shell. Oh yeah, baby. As you can see, the tuna is cooking up uh, really nicely. Um, I particularly, I like my tuna cooked. You can see there's a little pink there. Some people like, I like all of my, all of my meat or fish, I have to have it cooked all the way. You know, again, it's a personal preference. So if that's, if you like your tuna that, like that, then you're good to go. So I'm gonna cook mine up a little bit more, and now I'm gonna start to warm up the tortilla shell. Now one of the things with the tortilla shell, there's a couple of ways to do it. Um, what I do is I take my shells and I I get this microwavable plate. You get them at the dollar store. They're like two for a dollar, one for a dollar. And that's what I use when I use my microwave. I just put two of them in there and then I cover it and then I'll microwave it for about uh, uh, 30 seconds. And it's nice and hot, and then I put my food on it. 
Okay, I'm back. I got my, my tuna uh, steak uh, fajita is done. As you can see, got the beautiful uh, colors there. I got my tuna. I got my own three different colors of peppers. I got my guacamole, my salsa, and my um, my sour cream. Now, this is because of all the peppers, uh, the cayenne peppers and, and the hot salsa. There's going to be a spicy dish. So you don't have to make it spicy. You can eliminate that. Now, one of the good things about the sour cream It'll help with the uh, with the heat. So you know what time it is. It's time for the wine to bomb taste test. Yeah, baby, here we go. So I'm gonna wrap this one up. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, that's a work of art right there. Just gonna hold this in. Mmm. Oh man. That's not just good. Oh man, that's the bomb. Mmm, 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 oh man, mmm, mmm, my goodness, so that, that is delicious, so I'm going to enjoy this for dinner in about two seconds, but now in all my videos, I do shout outs, so shout out to Michael Jason Taylor, hope you're doing well, God bless you, always in my videos with the word of God, so Psalms, 72, seven, in his days may the righteous flourish and the peace abound till the moon be no more. God bless you, be the light in someone's darkness, and I'll see you next time on the Wonderbound Cooking Channel.